All right, what's going on, guys? So week one of the beta ended last Sunday. Uh, it is currently Wednesday. Today, as I'm making this, we're only a couple days out from week two of the beta. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it starts tomorrow because last time it started on Thursday, so I think they're just going to go ahead and start it back up this Thursday. I'm guessing around noon central. Uh, that's when it came out for me. And uh, this video, I'm going to tell you what they changed, good and bad. Um, some things got changed that the whole community thought should be changed. There are a few things that didn't get changed that pretty much the whole community thought should change. Uh, before we get into that, I just want to talk about what I personally felt was good and what I personally felt was bad. Just a few things. So the best thing that I noticed from that beta was the audio the call outs from the players if you guys didn't notice um the players actually made pretty specific call outs of like your, your in-game character made out pretty specific call outs of where enemies might be at um not a lot of people touched on this i saw a video from nero if you guys know who that is nero cinema he did a video solely on this and i think he's the only video i've seen on it but players called out like top bunker or like there's a guy in the bunker, there's a guy in the trenches, uh, over there was the worst call out, but that one made me laugh. Anyways, they did that. The gun sounds sound fantastic. Hit markers, not so good. The hit feedback isn't very good. Uh, that's something a lot of people complained about as well as like the kill, like the, the text on the screen wasn't very big. It was just like a small gray text. You could barely tell if you killed somebody, but the audio in the game is fantastic. The kill streaks sound good. Like the glide bomb sound effect is great. Artillery strikes are crazy. Uh, grenades sound good. Everything, the audio of the game is fantastic. All the sound effects are great. Uh, the guns felt pretty good. Like you get that old feel. You definitely feel the realism in it. A lot of people talked about that. Uh, I had fun with the guns. I had fun. The maps weren't so hot, but it's only three maps. So I, I doubt they're all going to be terrible. Like, it's not ghosts. I, I'm hoping it's not going to be like ghosts. Ghost maps are pretty terrible for the most part, and I like that game. All right, so pretty much beta week one, not too bad. We like it. So a few things that people didn't like. Grenades are overpowered. That we didn't really get a good answer on. So the updates I'm getting came straight from the Call of Duty live stream they did on Twitch for PlayStation uh, earlier this afternoon. I figured I'd get this video up quickly, let you guys know what was covered in that stream so you don't have to go watch it yourself and uh so number one like i said grenades we don't really know what they're doing with them they didn't really give us a clear answer on that one thing they're definitely going to do is increase the level cap so it was at 20 and then 25 at the end of weekend one they didn't tell us what they're going to increase it to hopefully they're gonna you know bump it up to like 40 and then maybe bump it up again after people reach 40. they were saying their logic behind it is to get to a certain level see where everybody's at, see when everybody gets there, get the feedback, and then up the level cap. That's why they weren't doing it immediately, because they wanted to make sure they can make improvements in phases. That seems to be, it seems to be their logic, and it makes sense. So with the level cap increasing, there's going to be new kill streaks. obviously. The big one that they talked about is a flamethrower. So the one that you could only use in war mode previously is going to be in all the game modes now. You just mow people down with a flamethrower. It's going to be like the purifier in Black Ops 3, I would assume. Uh, M1 A1 Carbine is coming out, so it's going to be, I don't know much about that gun to be honest, uh, but I know it's going to be in the game, so forgive me if I don't know much about the gun, but, uh, it's, I would guess it's full auto, if not, they, they mentioned like, they mentioned like the recoil isn't going to be too bad, so I'm guessing it's just a full auto, low recoil, uh, low damage type of gun. They're putting in a new map called Aiken, Aiken, I don't really know exactly how to do the, what to call it. I can throw up a picture of it now, but I'm not going to put gameplay of it because that, I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. I don't want this video to get striked for that. So yeah, new map. That should be cool. Those three maps we played weren't so good. There's going to be one extra map. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's better than, I know Point Del Hawk is probably my least favorite. The one with the trenches in the middle. I don't know how you guys feel about that map, but I hated it. I didn't almost never had a good time. The only time I had a good time playing that map is if I didn't go in the middle once. If you stay out of the middle, you stay out of the bunker, you're probably going to stay alive more often. If you just hang out on the outskirts, which is typically the best you know idea on any map, but for that map, it was complete death sentence going in the middle, especially with the incendiary shotguns. That map with incendiary shotguns was absolute trash, and... Uh, 
bad news with the incendiary shotguns. They didn't give us a very clear answer on whether they were going to nerf them or not. We, the interviewer on the live stream asked about it. He said, so incendiary shotguns, what are you going to do about those incendiary shells? I should say, they didn't say anything. They're not going to do anything. They, they said the only phrase that they gave us was moving off the default shell. So what I gather from that is incendiary shotgun shells aren't going to be the default shell. If you have that trade enabled, which doesn't sound like it does much because all you have to do is hit the D-pad and bam, that's your default shell. So the only thing that's going to stop is noobs who have it already. I, I, I never even used it, so I don't know if it's by default or not, um, but it must be. At uh, the alpha version, which people played at E3, a bunch of bigger YouTubers talked about it. The incendiary shotgun shells had to be loaded individually each time you'd fire one which slowed down the use of them, made it a little bit more of time consuming thing to use them. And it, they weren't used quite as much in that version of the shotgun shell. So I think they should at least revert back to that for the final release, if not just completely change the layout and use of those incendiary shells, because they ruin lobbies. If any more than one person is using them, you should just back out. If one person's using them on the right map and the person's good, you should probably just back out. It's it's not going to be quite as bad as like a brekkie spam or anything from Black Ops 3, but it's enough to kind of ruin your experience and definitely turn you off from playing in a lobby with those shotguns. And if enough people use them, they think it's funny, it, it's going to ruin the game. So they should really, really, really focus on that. And along the lines of game breaking, for players that like to go out and get a lot of kills, earn their kill streaks, maybe not play the objective... 100% domination being 50 points per kill completely ruined a lot of people's vibe and not just like pub stompers and people that like to get a lot of kills like myself this was for everybody almost like that was probably the number one complaint I saw uh in the community aside from the fl uh <laughs> the incendiary shotguns that was probably number one but number two was 50 points per kill in domination the only way you're going to get points in dom the way it was during week one is if you're standing around a flag trying to capture and get capture kills and defend kills. So if you go anywhere outside of the zone for defending or attacking kills, you're getting nothing. So they've actually listened to us on that. They're going to up the kills and domination to 100 points. And with the level cap increasing for this next weekend of the beta, I'm interested to see what type of streaks we get because there's going to be a lot of spam of streaks. And that's what the developers say they're worried about. You know, they want people to focus on the objective, not be spamming for streaks, you know, spamming their streaks and playing for kills. That's domination, though. Domination is always going to be that. Like, there's going to be some people focused on spawns and, you know, just pub stomping. And then there's other people that are going to play the objective. That's the way Dom's been forever. Black Ops 2 was fine with streak spam, you know, all these other... That's why there's low streaks. You can spam low streaks to stop people off getting high streaks. That's that's a good combination. Hopefully they understand that. As long as the streaks are good and balanced and all the streaks are viable, there will be no problem with, like, terrible, you know people getting decimated just because one high streak gets earned or you know something like that they don't need to worry number two as far as game modes go they added 100 kill they put a 100 kill limit on tdm so it's not 75 anymore this is a little bit concerning because of the pace of the game the game is really slow and a boots on the ground game hasn't went to 100 points yet so i think people are just so used to the 100 point limit in tdm that they feel like it's necessary but in all honesty, it's probably not going to be. We're going to get a lot of games that play their full length, uh, especially if the streaks aren't very strong, which right now they're not. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, but 100 kill TDM is a thing. And the third thing as far as game modes is a brand new game mode. We don't know what they're adding to the beta, whether it's a brand new mode that they created, like War, something like that. But, well, not brand new, because World at War had it. But a new game mode to like our current people. If it's a new game mode or they're just bringing back a mode that we haven't seen yet, Search and Destroy is not going to be in the beta at all, unfortunately, so that is not the new mode that they're bringing in. Search and Destroy isn't going to be out till the final launch. They did confirm that. So that's pretty much all the things that they're going to be adding.